Hi, I'm Annette Rushing, owner of Custom Cakes in Savannah, Georgia, and today I'm going to show you how we put sequins on a cake and paint them gold. Here's what you'll need. Piping gel, and I'm going to apply it with a painter's brush, a large flat artist brush. You'll need candy sequins, the gold dust of your choice, and McCormick's lemon extract or any sort of lemon extract. Also to, for the, to paint with, I'm going to use a flat brush and then a round brush as well. Alright, I've covered my cake with fondant and it's been in the fridge and it's nice and cold. This technique is so much easier and you're going to get such a better result if the buttercream or the ganache under your fondant, whichever you use, is really nice and firm and cold. So I'm going to take my flat brush with the piping gel on it and just put it, paint the sides of the cake with it. And you want to make sure you get a thin coat but that it's covered, all of it's covered because this is what the sequins will stick to. Okay, I'm just going to look and make sure that it's well covered. Again, you want it all surfaces to be covered, but you don't want it any thicker than it has to be. All right, so that looks good to me. Now we're going to stack, this is actually going to be a two-tier cake, and we're going to have another cake on top. So let me show you how to apply the piping gel so that we have room for our dowels and the other cake. The cake that's going on top of this cake was seven inches, so I have a board that's seven inches to put on top. And I'm going to center it, kind of make sure it's where I want it. And to me, this is just the easiest way to do it. To do it, not you don't want the sequins under the other cake. Okay, there we go. Now we can take this off. All right, so now I'm ready to put my sequins on. I've got a tray and I've put some parchment paper in it. You could put wax, wax paper in it if you don't have any parchment. This is just to keep, try to keep these sequins all in one place. All right, and you just, I'm just pressing them on. And you can see why it's important to make sure you get the piping gel on there well. Another thing is too that you've got to use a little bit of pressure to get these sequins to stay. So that's why it's best if the cake is well chilled before you start the process. Okay, and I can see where I've got some places where the sequins didn't stick. So what I'm going to do is just take a fine brush and my piping gel and just try to kind of fill it in a little bit so we can get them, get the sequins to stick. Here, kind of go back over this too. Okay. All right. All right. 
right. Okay, let's let them sit for just a few minutes so that they're really stick. And then we'll be ready to paint them. Now to paint, I've got a gold dust. Um, my friend Pilar told me this little trick and it works great. Um, use the McCormick Pure Lemon Extract and it really makes the gold shiny. So I'm going to make a paste. Something like this. I want it to be thick, but I also want it to have um, some fluidity to it. All right, let's get started. And you're going to lose some of the little sequins, and you may have to go back and paint it twice, but hopefully not. This the gold I'm using really covers well, and can usually get it done in one swoop. So again, it's it's pretty thick, but it's got a little bit of still still fluidity, fluidity, whatever that word is. To get in between the sequins, you may need to just kind of dab your paintbrush. And again, make sure it's it's fluid and not too thick. And that'll help get in and cover it up. All right, when you're when you're finished, make sure that you go back and look really good. You may need to do a little touch up here and there. But for the most part, this covers it pretty well. Okay, I'm just going to take my brush and knock the loose ones off the board like to leave a few on there too and but maybe not this much okay and now I'll go ahead and just paint the board the top of the board I hope you enjoy the sequins as much as I do. They really make for a beautiful and elegant cake. Thanks for watching.